decision is sparking very different reactions from the family of Mike Brown and an attorney for Darren Wilson. We have live team coverage. Fox 2's Andy Banker continuing from Clayton with that part of the story. Andy. Yeah, Jasmine, uh, Vic just summed up the reasoning very well. I know people have been watching the news conference. I was just inside, stepped outside here to the prosecutor's office. Mike Brown's family confirms that Mike Brown Sr. was here meeting with Prosecutor Bell. Mike Brown Sr.'s wife tells me that Bell informed them personally of his decision today. So it appears Darren Wilson former Ferguson police officer is finally clear of any threat of prosecution for the death of 19 year old Mike Brown Jr. nearly six years now after Wilson shot and killed Brown on Canfield Drive in Ferguson. We're 10 days from the sixth anniversary. Brown was a suspect in the theft of cigarillos from a store in Ferguson. He was not armed, but Wilson claimed Brown had attacked him and Wilson shot him out of fear for his own life. The case sparked months of protests in Ferguson and made Ferguson a household name internationally. An attorney for Brown's father told me about the meeting today with Prosecutor Bell. He was there along with Mike Brown Sr. And here's what he had to say about the meeting. Pardon me, I got to look up the quote here. Um, I lost it. Give me just a second. We've been scrambling here. and uh, He said Mike Brown Sr. did not leave this meeting happy. And anything short of justice in this case, that being Darren Wilson being held criminally responsible, would certainly be disappointing. Now, Prosecutor Bell, I asked him to characterize his meetings with Mike Brown's father and Mike Brown's mother. He says he met with them both and he wanted to make sure they heard the news before anyone else. Here's what Mr. Bell had to say. Yes, um, it was important to us and I appreciate that question because I didn't mention it. Um, part of why we were very careful about the information that we released and when we released it is because the family was going to hear this information first. And so, yes, I met with both of both uh, parents, uh, Brown family, and um, and you know, as far as how they, um, as far as they took it, obviously it wasn't the answer that they wanted. But out of respect for them and their wishes, um, I'm not going to divulge the the conversation, and that's going to stay private. I've also reached an attorney for Darren Wilson. He says Darren Wilson has moved away from St. Louis. He is living anonymously. That's all he would say. But he says certainly no one is celebrating this decision today. No one on either side. He says he only hopes that it brings closure, not just for Darren Wilson, but for the family of Mike Brown Jr. as well. Again, now almost six years after that fateful day in Ferguson. Live in Clayton, Andy Banker, Fox 2 News. All right.